After a disappointing weekend with Bafana Bafana failing to qualify for the World Cup, club football is finally back. And on the menu this weekend is the Telkom knockout semi-final fixtures, Jesse. Yeah, first up is Bedvis Fitz hosting Kaiser Chiefs. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, what do you think of that fixture? Uh, Kaiser Chiefs are among the league title contenders, while Bedvis Fitz haven't been playing like yeah. the defending league champions for me. You know, they're second from the bottom. And I haven't been convinced with the way they've been winning these Telkom knockout fixtures. Yeah. So if you base your predictions on current form, I think Chiefs should win this, this one very easily. Is that your prediction? Yeah, I think Chiefs will progress to the final. I actually disagree with you because mm -hmm. in the Telkom knockout, yes, they've been poor in the league. But Telkom knockout... Yes, they went to extra time against three state stars, but they showed their, their class to win 4-2. And then against Baraka, that 1-0 scoreline showed how good they are. I think Chiefs showed more character in their game against Chippa United, with Itumel and Kuna getting injured mm. and Cardoso, I mean, stepping, I mean, putting on the keeper's jersey mm. and uh, playing in goal. I think that's a great deal of character and Kaiser Chiefs should have enough to outclass Fitz. I mean, previous Fitz against mm -hmm. the big teams, they've done quite well against Chiefs. They managed to salvage the draw with 10 men. Mm, and they also managed to beat Orlando Pirates yeah. and the high-flying Barocca FC as well in the league. Yeah. yeah, they do have that big match temperament, I yeah. agree with you, but oof, you still I'm still not Chiefs. convinced. I still see Chiefs winning this one. I think it'll be a draw in 90 minutes and fits to edge it after extra time. So Jesse is tipping a draw and I'm tipping a Kaiser Chiefs win. What do you think? Let us know below, leave your comments and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Another mouth watering clash this yeah. weekend. Uh, as far Polo as City. Mm, Polo Kwane City and Bloom Celtic. Bloom, Bloom Celtic. Yeah. One way, one man. Vaseline Yelusic, coach Rod of the month. Rodney Ramagalela. There's player of the month. Mm -hmm. I think on the pitch, he does more talking than what uh, Yelusic does off the pitch. So for me, Pulakwani City are the team to watch out for. You know, when uh, Vaseline Yelusic, the Bloom Celtic coach, was yeah. crowned the coach of the month for October. He said uh, players now are starting to understand, you know, his tactics. They've adapted quite well. And, you know, they've been playing very well. They've been impressive. They're fourth on the lock. Mm. So that should tell you that the teams are a class apart. Polokwane City are somewhere there at the bottom. Yeah, well, they're undefeated in six. So mm. And against the big teams, they've done well against some Soweto clubs this season. And, mm. you know, although they lost to Bloom Celtic earlier in the campaign, they've showed big match temperaments as well. So your results? I think Polokwane City will win in I 90 say, minutes. I, I say Celtic will win this In 90 one. minutes, I think they'll get the job done. All right. And the London derby as well. Fiercely yeah. contested rivalry between Arsenal and uh, Tottenham Hotspur. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you about Christian Eriksen scoring a scintillating hat-trick against Northern Ireland uh, to, I mean, to make sure Put that... their place in the next mm -hmm. round, yeah, in the World Cup. Well... You mentioned the Spurs players, I'll mention the Arsenal players mm -hmm. because Lacazette was brilliant for France, he scored a brace against Germany. In that same game, Mesut Ozil assisted Timo, Timo Werner to score the first goal and then Alexi Wobi, Africa's one of Africa's young up-and-coming stars, netted a brace against Argentina. I think Hurricane goes into this one, you know, fresh because he wasn't involved in any um, international football yeah. this past weekend. And Dele Ali as well. Oh, Harry Wings has also been brilliant for England recently, so... I think Tottenham must be currently better than Arsenal. And also, if you consider the fact that they are above Arsenal on the log, they finished above Arsenal last season, they play in UEFA Champions League football, why I, I, Arsenal are in the Europa League. So, I mean, I well, don't once, see them once every 21 years is, is fine for me. As an Arsenal supporter, I don't mind once every yeah, 21 but years. But currently, Spurs is better than Arsenal. Do you agree? I would say right now, yes. But yeah, shifting and the match power, is no happening chance. right now. No, shifting power, no chance. But I will agree that they are a better team at the moment. The better team will win. I disagree with you. Uh, Arsenal have won all their home games and no matter who the opposition has been it hasn't been fierce opposition but you know they still managed to get the job done and Lacazette hasn't been starting in some of the big games for Arsenal at home I think he will get a, a starting part and produce the goods what you say my trouble Kaiser Chiefs Bloemfontein Celtic and Tottenham Hotspur your trouble I think Fitz will hold Chiefs to a draw I'm expecting Polakwane City and Arsenal to both win and in terms of the price boosts and specials that we have to offer, what are you looking at? Well, like I said, I think Arsenal will come out on top. I think it'll be a KG affair, but I'm expecting a 2-1 win for the Gunners. Priced up at 9-1. I'm expecting both teams to find the back of the net in the London derby. And uh, it's going to be 2-1 in favour of Tottenham Hotspur. And it's priced up at 10-1. And um, let us know what you think, man. Leave your comments below and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more soccer betting tips and previews, get yourself a copy of Soccer Betting News for only 10 rand at your nearest Hollywood Best Branch.